Eric here. Uh, today we're going to look at replacing a circuit breaker. Um, if your breaker has tripped many times, it was a problem, whatever, you finally found a problem, but the more these breakers trip, they begin to weaken. And so like this 20 amp, for example, will no longer hold 20 amps. It'll start tripping at a lower uh, current. So uh, we need to replace it. So step number one is turn off the power to the unit from outside on the main. Uh, this panel is dead. We have no power in the uh, apartment now. So we're gonna pull the face off the panel. exposed panel and just to be certain that everything is turned off we're going to check we've got nothing 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 okay so here's our problem breaker right here this 20 so before I even go to pull it off what I'm going to do while it's still installed is I'm going to crack my screw loose here. It'll be a little easier to do it while it's in there than trying to do it in your hand. And so the way these work, if you look at the replacement, they clip in the bottom and then snap in. So you can see this is like the pivot point, and here's the contact that's going to snap onto the, uh, the bus bar there in the middle. So we're going to take this one and tip it out. Like this, I'm gonna pull it out, get it unwound from the wire here. We're gonna finish loosening up our contact. Uh, while you're in here, we're gonna go ahead and check all the connections. Uh, remember, anytime you're working with electrical, all these terminals need to be like rock solid tight, like not close to tight or tight enough they have to be rock solid so this one I'm going to tighten it as much as I can by hand in my hand until I get it in there and put the final torque on it yeah, it's pretty tight so now we're going to Look inside here and you can see where the pivot point is here and then there's the terminal that's going to clip in. I'm going to slip it in there like this. And always make sure that you get a nice positive engagement. Uh, we're going to go ahead and torque that down and then like I said while we're here, you know, that screwdriver is a little too big for that one. I'm going to get the rest of them. And so, basically, we're going to go through here, we're going to check all our terminals where everything is turned off, especially these two mains. Uh, something else, while you're in here, look for any burned wires or any discoloration or anything. Uh, that's going to be a source of problems in the future. Uh, but that is how you replace a circuit breaker. Uh, once we've checked all the connections, we'll put the face back on there, we'll go outside, turn the main on, and make sure that this thing's working correctly and holding the power and everything. So thank you very much.